race 14 on day one at Henry Raw Regatta is the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup heat between an American boat, so we talk about the club, and the Hinksy Sculling School on the Buck Station. Just watching the Yates as they pull away from the start pontoons. They're going pretty close together with their oars there. But uh, Hinksy Sculling School get themselves sorted out, settling down into a rhythm. And you can hear the uh, instructions, the shouting, but a lot of noise in, uh, in those boats, uh, making themselves heard, Mo, in the uh, early stages. I spoke about the contrast of it being slightly quieter. Just keeping an eye on the uh, booms, actually, on this uh, near side. Hinksy Scully still getting a little bit close to the booms. Yeah, very close there, especially with the cox. You'd expect them to be in a little bit more of a control. The, the, the steering will be done by the coxswain, so they should be in control. But I'm actually really looking forward to seeing this Sagatau crew from America and seeing what composure they have through the week. So, everything to do. Here is the uh, latest in the race, then, as it unfolds. It's the Hinksy Sculling School trailing the Americans. There they are, unmistakably. The, uh, visor and the hat on the uh, bow seat of Moses Lewis. The Americans looking very focused. Daniel Lee, the Cox there. And now we can have a look at the Hinksy Sculling School. And there they are in the uh, bow seat. Inigo Markham. He keeps glancing over his left shoulder, which is an interesting policy mode because all the action's on his right shoulder, isn't it? So there's not much to be... I suppose he's keeping an eye on the on the boom, possibly because of what happened earlier in the race. He's just thinking, I don't want to go anywhere near that. He took my words right out of the mouth there. Is, um, you can imagine he's a little bit worried, having got quite close earlier. It could also be a technical thing. He's looking at his blade. It can be quite distracting sometimes, so you want to focus in on the focal point and you want to look at your blade and make sure your blade work is sharp towards the front. But yeah, the Sagatown crew have some great pedigree, got some really good results across over in America in the, in the racing scene over there. They came second at the head of Charles, won a, another fantastic race that happens annually towards October time of the year. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can do against some of our top British crews in this event. It's early in the morning to be talking biomechanics in any great depth, but if your head is looking out towards your blade, is there a danger that you lose a bit of balance and a bit of stability in the boat? You know, presumably, more often than not, you want your eyes to be searing straight into the back of the head of uh, whoever's in two seats, if you're in the bow, for instance. Yeah, exactly that. You want your head and your eyes to be looking forward. However, if you've been rowing for a very, very long time and you've been... As you have. As, as I had, yeah, and you, you get used to certain pieces of behavior that you might do looking at an oar i know i know of one of the rowers that's going into paris he always looks at his oar towards the catch um, helen and glover does a lot of that i've noticed as well yeah she does and so does jacob dawson he kind of often looks at his blade but they don't throw the balance off that much but no. when you're beginning and when you're learning you want to be like you said eyes fixed into the back hopefully uh, gb athletes are all enjoying the coverage watching from their training camps no doubt over the finish line come the Hinksy Sculling School, but only after the Americans by a couple of lengths on the Berkshire Station. Sugatuck Rowing Club of the USA, good performance from them, making it look relatively comfortable, Hinksy Sculling School. We talked about their steering, we talked about uh, getting a bit too close to the boom perhaps early on, and in the end, outpowered by the Americans in the Princess Elizabeth Cup.